Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jason here. Welcome back to episode 11 of the Dying Light uh, 2 gameplay walkthrough. Uh, last off, we left off. We talked to Luan, and it seems like we got to bribe Juan, if I'm not mistaken. So we're headed over to a penthouse that you could only access while you're paragliding. No. He fell. Someone almost just saw me. Who is that? Where are you going? Got him alive. How did I not get him? This is not I'm <laughs> I thought I was supposed to like catch him, I guess I was supposed to kill him. <laughs> wow. I try to do the dash thing, but I mean, I didn't mean to do that, but that was still pretty cool. I was thinking, how do I get up there, but luckily I was able to figure it out. Oh, this one doesn't work. Meal? Nothing. Door's locked. Let's go. Another broken shovel. The one? There's nothing left in here. Said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. I'm sorry, but it seems there isn't room for you in the helicopter after all. I'll try and send another. Don't worry, I have. 
to save the collection. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. That's great. That's the type of man you want. At least he has a priority straight. I'm kidding. Uh, okay, I guess we gotta go the long way. This is a pretty sick penthouse. The views, very nice. Now the question is, so go through the helipad. There's a hole right here. Nope. Ah! Oh. I jumped down on the same spot and hurt my legs. That's great. Check the other side of the roof. Really? Ah, oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So he's still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Wait, if this is it's gonna be sick. No, it's not. Is it an enemy? I think I heard him. I didn't mean to. I think that's a civilian, so I'm actually not gonna attack him. My bad, man. That was that was all me. Well, do I really need to get back up there? I already picked it up. My game just crashed.
You know, when they got the men. <laughs> Let's see what an apocalypse party looks like. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here. A little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gancho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it said in a war. Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. <sighs> Lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, Ben? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Well, I'll just say hi and then I should be on my way. Aiden! You came! You invited me. Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you. Trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Sorry, I'm not really in the mood. Right decision. Okay, I'm off to bed. Row out. Ugh, you're such a party pooper, Aiden. Well, well, I, I kind of just wanted to get I? to uh... Yeah, so enjoy the party. Wow. She just came up with a better game. It sounded like nobody wanted to play anyway. Don't blame it on me. Who's this? Gadjo! Here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink for me and another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes and that I'm drunk. Sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Uh, time to head over to the main objective, which is that way. That away. Yeah, I really gotta upgrade the paraglider, man. You gotta make it faster, increase the durability. Yeah, <laughs> No, not the freaking folk guy. Oh, they have this guy as well. Oh, he flew right into the thing. 
<laughs> no, I thought I had him first. <laughs> I'm done playing. <laughs> oh, nice. I could push right through them. That's awesome. Did he just fly off? I think so. That was a waste. I guess it's time to use one of these military things eventually. Hopefully it's something good. More rice. And a medic cap. This is not good because the light's about to go out, but... We get going. I don't know how much longer. Oh, the sun's about to go down as well. Yeah, I should get there ASAP.
gonna try and avoid any side quests for the time being, just so I can uh, finish the story. Until today, I thought our chances again. Yeah, those spears are like super helpful. I gotta get the uh, the blueprint for that. Don't you like listen this? to the briefing? I miss We're real gonna coffee. be infected. Or they are. Isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, if I embarrassed you, I'm sorry. I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but to make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing. Yet again, you'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. Work in romance. Bad outcomes. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. So I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the Renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever and half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. 
Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates, and the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. It's been a stalemate for over 10 years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed, and the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. I don't know, this guy's kind of grimy. I don't know. How do I'm I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolin. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Okay, nice. Unlocked it. I got another combat point, so I could probably unlock that, uh... What did I want? That's what I wanted. Oh, I already got another parkour skill. Probably not the jump. That's pretty useful. This is probably the... I would use that, but I feel like... being they got another one I know how to use them yeah I really enjoy this game so far uh, I don't think I like it more than the first one um, but Maybe they'll get me through DLCs and stuff, and I actually haven't tried the multiplayer yet, so... Let's see, maybe it's really cool when we do the multiplayer part of things. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. I definitely should have taken a little nap before I head out here. I still didn't give Ader's wife his, uh, the note. It's very interesting. Sleeping should bring my health back, right? I'm just wondering. Oh, it does. Awesome. Okay. So I know what to do. Every mission I gotta run, you know, mid-fight I just gotta run all the way back here. This guy was just staring at me while I was sleeping. Weirdo. So. Everyone's missing. This is what always happens. You meet somebody, and you gotta find his freaking missing squad.
we go. The game is whatever I want. Alright, I gotta get across. I was wondering why it wasn't letting me out. Don't kill me! I don't want to die! You've seen a cat play with me. No, they're smart. They're hiding. Wait, I thought I just saw somebody, like an enemy thing. <laughs> Pretty certain I gotta go down there as well, so. Good thing they're not relatively strong. Oh! <laughs> 
Time the freaking button doesn't even work. Doing climb. I don't even know how I died, but I guess that thing definitely didn't hit me. I was like ready to duck. But it is what it is, I guess.
I deserve that, because this idiot doesn't doesn't want to climb when I tell him to climb. Half the time these stupid like jump off kicks don't even work. Yeah, it worked, but I had the wrong person. I'm still trying. I've been trying for the last five minutes to do one of these freaking jump off kicks. There we go. military tech so I could upgrade the freaking um so I can upgrade the freaking paraglider that's what I need you gonna finally let me in good job man you showed him you're a goddamn superhero barely that beast had us trapped here wouldn't go away it attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on, let's get you to a doctor. Thanks, man. Is there like a hole in the wall or something or I guess I'm supposed to climb. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to go from in there. Devlin's upstairs. Oh, you can open the door. Who would have thought? Half the time the freaking handles are broken on the doors. More than half. Hey, you're Devlin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden. Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional. And you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? I'm a pilgrim. I haven't been here long. A pilgrim? Did you travel far to reach the city? Quite a long way, yes. Why? Have you been to Marseille by any chance? I'm sorry. I never heard of the place. My hometown. I wonder what's become of it. Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. You must find him quickly. Alright guys, I'm probably going to end it here. Um, just like I said, I don't want to make the video longer than an hour. 
Um, hopefully there's a bed somewhere here that I can use just so I can get my health back. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.